Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to move and rename Excel files in Python. The method I'm going to show you works for not only just Excel files, but also works for any file format. It can be Word or text or PowerPoint, whatever file you want to move and rename, you can use this method. Let's start off by setting up a hypothetical example. Imagine that our company has a lot of clients and for each client, our company system will create an invoice for each client every week and that'll be stored inside these client folders. Our job is to create one folder and put all these invoice files into that folder. At the same time, we have to rename these files because we can't have them all named as invoice one and then be in the same folder. We'll probably just name them as something like client one underscore invoice, client two underscore invoice. So something like this. Now, if you don't know Python, you probably just copy and pasting each file into that destination folder and then manually changing the name for close to 60 files in our case. But if you know Python, then this whole process will take you maybe like two minutes. Now let's get started. So we're going to need two libraries and let's import them. The first one is OS. And this library is used for managing the folder and file path. And the second library is called Shotail, which is used for uh, moving and renaming the files. I'm going to specify my folder address, this one here. So usually whenever I do a folder or a file path, I add this R in front of my string and turns the string into a raw string, which will get rid of um, the problem that these backslashes will create. So just remember that whenever you are working with a folder or file path on your computer system, it's always good to add this R in front of your string. Saves a lot of headache later on. And I'm also going to create a weekly folder. Let's call it, well, since we, since I've already got the week one here, let's call this a week two. So because this is a new week and we don't have that folder yet, so we can perform a quick check, see if uh, the folder exists or not. We can do something like this, os.path.exists, and then just check the folder path. If this folder exists on our disk, then this will return true, otherwise it will return false. Let's take a look. So false means that this folder doesn't exist on our disk, and in this case, we can just create it using Python code. So if this folder does not exist, then we want to do os.make PIR and weekly. Run this, and as you can see, the week two folder was just created. This is an empty folder for now. We'll be moving all these uh, client invoice files into this week two folder. So, just some quick observation. Now we have about uh, 55 clients in our example. So, let's try to move one file first and once we're comfortable with moving one file we're going to loop through all these uh, 59 files using our python code so how about we try to move this uh, client one invoice into this week two folder let's try that all we need to do is just shuttle.move so in the function arguments hint we can see that the first argument is the source which means the source file and the second argument is destination folder or file so you can kind of see it as this is from, this is to. Since we've got this URL here, we can do something like this. And here I'm using both an R and F string together. So for example, we can plug in this uh, string value into this URL here because this is just calling this URL variable. But when using F string, we have to use this uh, curly bracket around the variable name. And it's going to be client one invoice and i believe it's excel x file now the second argument we need the destination file so again same we're going to use the uh, raw and format string this time it's going to be weekly it's going to be client one invoice dot xx so let's try to run this line of code and see what happens and you probably saw that this invoice file in this client one folder just disappeared and guess where it went it went to this week two folder with a new name. So I'm actually not going to open these files because uh, these are just empty files. There's nothing in the files. That's why you see all the size are like zero KB. I'm just showing you guys how to move and rename the file names. So it doesn't matter what's inside the file. All right, so we got the first file moved and renamed. So let's now take a look at how we can 
handle all the rest of the files. So to do that, we need to create a loop. I'm going to create a for loop for i in the range. So because we've already moved the first client, so our range will now start from the number two, so the second client, and it goes to number 60. So this way, it will go from number two to number 59. It doesn't go to number 60. I'm just going to copy this line of code and tweak something there. So because here we are already using the format string, it means that we can plug in variables inside the string. And the variables are going to be uh, these uh, client numbers. So I'm going to change this to a variable. This is going to be i. And the same thing here, this is going to be i as well. So basically, once it loops through, for example, uh, the first one will be this the client 2 is going to plug in the value 2 inside the i and and this will be client 2 and this will also be client 2 and it loops through all the values from 2 to 59. Let's run the code and watch here it's going to move all those client invoices and rename them inside this folder. So there we go. We just moved over 59 files and then we also renamed those 59 files. So now these folders are blank because we just moved the file out of them. We should do some cleanup and in hindsight, we should have done the cleanup along with the move operation. So after moving the file from uh, these folders to that week two folder, right after that, we should delete these files. But that's okay. Let's do another loop and delete those files. It's simply os.rm, uh, stands for remove dir. So what's the folder that we want to remove? It's going to be these folders. So it's going to be the URL, which is this, and then a client with client number, right? Let's do that. And all those extra client folders are now gone. So like I said, I forgot to remove the folders right after moving the file. So that's why we had to run the loop twice. When you implement your own solution, definitely do both operations within one loop. So you probably want something like this, move the files, and then remove the extra folders. I'm not going to run this because uh, those files do not exist on my disk anymore. Um, this is just to show how it should have been done. I hope you find this video helpful and if you like the video, please smash the like button. It's going to help the channel a lot and I really appreciate it. That's it for today. Thank you for your time. I'll see you in the next one.